Thanks to those reforms, tens of billions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies that would have gone to big banks are now going to where they should, to students like you. <laughs> if the other side wins, they'll try their hardest to give free reign back to the insurance companies and the credit card companies and the Wall Street banks that we're finally holding accountable. We can't let them do that. We can't go back to the days of taxpayer-funded bailouts or when credit card companies could just jack up your rates without reason. We can't go back to the days when insurance companies could just drop your coverage because you're sick. We've got to keep in place the new law that says if you're out there looking for a job or have one that don't offer you coverage, you should be able to stay on your parents' insurance policy until you're 26 years old. That's the choice in this election. That's what's at stake right now. So, Maryland, it comes down to this. A lot, a lot of folks running in the other party, these are the exact same people who spent the last decade driving this economy into a ditch. And so, for the last 20 months, me and Pardon, and Steny, and Barbara, and all these folks, we, we have gotten down into the ditch, put on our boots. We we're down there, it's hot. We were sweating. Bugs everywhere. We're down there pushing, pushing, pushing on the car. Every once in a while, we look up and see the Republicans standing there. They're just standing there fanning themselves. <laughs> sipping on a slurping. And we'd say, come on down and help. They said, no, that's all right. So they, they said, you're not pushing the right way. You got to push faster. And we just kept on pushing and pushing. And finally, we got this car up on level ground. Finally, we got it up on level ground. Now, this car is a little beat up now. Because they drove it into the ditch. They've got some debts. Needs a tune-up. But it's pointing in the right direction. 